Hi, everybody. I'm here basically just to say hello because I haven't made any crafty videos in a while and I get a lot of people concerned. They don't know if I fell off the face of the earth or something. And so I just want you to know that I'm alive and well and, and I'm still here. And what I'm doing today is what I've been doing all day today, pretty much all day is I, I've been cutting fabric and I've been cutting five, my five inch squares and then I've ironed them into triangles, into, ironed them in half and made the triangles. But what I'm making out of these is, um, is some spring coasters. And I like fabric coasters because they absorb moisture. So if you go put a put a um, a wet glass, and you know how it leaves a wet ring on the table or something, and so I'm I'm making these. And so I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing. I I think I've done a video on these before, but I repeat myself a lot, and so. I'm sewing this one together, and I make these simple. I've made these a different way too, where I um, turn them inside out. I, um, gosh, you know, just my thought processes lately just are not the same. Um, just let me get this sewed here so I can show you. Sewn, sewed, I don't know which is the right word. And um, um, life is going good. Um, the last few days have been really good. Um, I'm getting over over um, my yeah. I'm getting over a lot of stuff. But anyway, see now there is the um, how simple is this? I take a um, an odd piece of a five by five square. That one doesn't look five. It's a little short. Let me get another one. This one here that looks better. And I I lay that one down with the um, you see that you didn't see part of it. And then I um, take a piece of fab um, flannel. The flannel is four by four. I put that in the middle right there. And then I take four separate pieces. And um, I take four different pieces and I lay them on there like that there. See? And I like using all different ones. And see how I'm laying them there? One, two, three. And let's see, let's use this little green one. I'm just trying to do all springy kind of colors. Okay, and when you put that fourth one down, then you tuck that under the first one you put down. So then it shows all four of the um, colors as a triangle. And then you just, um, there's more than one way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. This is how I'm doing these ones, and I kind of like this. And I, and I know I'm sewing about a half an inch seam there. And I just sew it all the way around, about a half an inch. And so that piece of flannel is not as big as the top and the bottom. So 
because you only need that in, in the center, really, for a little bit more absorbency. And so, um, these ones are all kind of spring. And, um, but I've got a little stack of fabric, like right here, that these ones, I'm going to get this cut. This is what I have in Valentine kind of fabric. I should be doing that one now, but I'll get these done fast. I might just cut these ones out tomorrow. And then I have here for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to make some there. And um, so... I've had a few people that said that they would want to buy some, but I give them, I give them to um, some people mostly. So this is really all you have to do. Yeah, this is all you really have to do. And see, then it's got that raw edge. So then I take with a pair of pinking shears. My pinking shears are a little getting dull. I might have to order me a, another pair. But I've also got a pair of shears that are the um, that are the scallop too, and that makes a pretty edge too. And see, then I just cut on them four sides, close to the the stitch row, without cutting the stitches. So, and this is, this is it finished then. See there? And so, and I think, you know, they'll all be a little bit different because all the fabrics aren't exactly the same. It looks like I don't get them exactly sewed in the same either, but that's it when you have, when you have, and then I have, a, um, let's see, this pair of scissors is, is uh, like a, uh, scallop and so that makes a pretty edge too and I have made some of these where I after I get them sewn together like this then I just turn them so that the seam isn't showed I shown um, I don't know how to talk anymore So, um, there we go. See, now, that's three already. And, but these make the best coasters, if, in my opinion, because they, um, because they're so absorbent. And, um, but you can also, I don't have one, but if you have a wine glass with that bottom on it, you can actually poke that in there. And this will, where only the stem, you don't see the bottom then, you only see the stem. You can do that too with these. But that's, that's just what I'm doing. And I'm just making up a bunch of these. I might put them into stacks of six and maybe offer them up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I keep saying I'm going to offer things up and then I never get them offered up. But um, I'm trying. But I, got, I got a lot of them already cut and, and ironed. Cut and ironed because they're... So this actually, when you think about it, it's got one, two, three, four, four layers of fabric. And so that makes it very absorbent for your, for a coaster. And so, and I know I like to have a coaster under my cups and whatnot because they, um, because it, um, you know, absorbs then the moisture, especially if you have something cold. And so that's just what I'm doing today. So I wanted to show you that. And, um. I want to work on some more tonight, probably put on a little movie here and watch a movie while I just stitch a lot of these together. But um, 
I've got to work on, I've got other things to work on too. I got so many things going on at the same time. Um, Cause see, I work on, I've got my, my, I'm, I'm working, see, I work a little bit on my, um, this is like one of my needle books that I'm working on. And um, I've got the pages here, but I got to sew the pages in. So I think I've got all of these ready to sew the pages in. You'd think that I would just work on one thing and finish it and then and then work on something else. And so some of them I have quite glamorous and others are more plain. And so and like this one I don't even have lace on that one. And so, and you all have seen most of these. I think I've got 10 of them going here. And so, yeah, so I've got that I'm working on too. And, um, I stay busy, but I just, my mind just wanders so quickly sometimes. And my, my mind just wanders and wanders and wanders. And so I go from one project to the next. And, um... It's one that isn't exactly, yeah, that one's too short. Put that in the scrap pile. That one's not good either. Gosh, where did I, these are some that I cut previously. This one looks better. So I put the pretty side down here and I put the flannel piece on top. And you see that that one's the bottom one's five by five, and these are four by four. And then I, um, these are five by five, and then cut and then folded in half. See, they're five by five, and then I fold them in half and arm them. And um, and yeah, and then get them put together. Mm. My joints don't want to work anymore. And so, I went to pour, like for my spring ones, I just went through fabrics. This is a, like an Easter. And then just spring colors is what I went for. Oops, I don't need two of them there. Just one, only one. And, um, yeah, so, let's see. See, here's one that I made. This was a Christmas one I made. But that one I stitched all the way around and then just turned. Because you can do it that way. And then it's um, a finished edge instead of a raw edge. But you see, you can just take it and turn the whole thing around. So you could even take these ones here that I've made. Well, no, it, it, you probably couldn't do them ones this way because I've got the smaller piece of flannel. This one I put the larger piece. So see this one here, it, that was it finished. But then that one's, you see the flannel that's inside. But then I just took the whole thing and just turned it. And then you've got a finished edge. So you can, um, Not that this is unfinished. I mean, it's finished too, but it's just finished in a different way. So, yeah. So you can make these for any any um, any holiday or season. Make fall ones, winter, spring, and summer, and um, then you just have a a, a large collection. Oh, and then this one here, too. Oh, this one I... Oh, oh that one I messed up. With my threads wasn't working good there. I got squares cut here, too. Yeah, that was a Christmas one. And this was a... Yeah, I've made quite a few different... That one's just all pink. 
So yeah, I've made quite a few, and they're all a little bit different. They look a little bit different, and I don't know, I cut them all the same size, and then once I get them all done sewn together, they're not all the same size. That's just how I do things. Okay, I'm going to not keep you long. I'm going to get to stitching some more of these and try to stay out of trouble. But if you're looking for um, something fun to do and just to stay busy and, and use your scraps up, this is a real, it's, it's really simple and it's really wonderful. What do I have here? One Minute Inspirations for Women. This is a new book that I that I have. Okay, let's read about, I just opened it up and it says your spiritual gifts. One of the best ways to discover your gifts is to ask God. When you're in the Word, for example, the Holy Spirit will show you ideas for service and ministry. People will come to mind, you, as will ideas for how to minister to them. I know a woman who's actively building a Barnabas ministry based on Acts 4.36. It's a ministry designed to encourage people who are suffering in need support by linking them up with others who have walked through their trials. Another friend operates what I call a Judy Soup Kitchen. A nurse and cancer survivor, Judy knows just what's needed when somebody's ill. So off she goes with her warm ways, her warm soup, and a batch of encouraging scriptures. Faithfully read your Bible and start developing your gifts. A little prayer says, Heavenly Father, you're given, you've given me gifts so I can serve your people and encourage them in Jesus. Open my eyes on what you've given me and show me how to use them for your glory. Amen. So that's a nice little one-minute inspiration for women. And not just women, it can be um, anyone. And so that's all I'm going to have for you today. And um, hopefully I get more um, wordy pretty soon again. Um, I'm going through a quiet spell, I guess. And I, okay, anyway, I ask God to watch over you. Every step you take, every move you make can keep you safe and secure, keep you happy and healthy and in um I will see you on the next video, and hopefully it won't be too long down the road. Hopefully not. God bless and keep you all.